Let's see how to evaluate the definite integral that we have here. Its lower limit is 1, upper limit is e, and the integrand is ln of x over x. Well, I'll start by writing s o l as in solution, and I'll quickly copy the integral. We have the integral from 1 to e of ln of x over x. Okay, now first of all, I like to state that this equals to capital F of e minus capital F of 1, where capital F of x is the antiderivative, so the integral of ln of x over x. And so the first thing I do is actually find this antiderivative. And looking at ln of x over x, it's quite important to realize that what we're dealing with here is a product of two functions. And to see that, it's often useful to rewrite this as ln of x times 1 over x. There we go. Now we can see quite clearly that we're trying to integrate one function multiplying another. And when trying to do that, we only really have two options. The first being the method of substitution, and the second being integration by parts. But looking at the two functions that are being multiplied here, we can see that one function is in fact the derivative of the other. And when that happens, it suggests we use u substitution. And in fact, I'll write that at the top here, u substitution, u substitution. There we go. Now, when using the method of substitution, remember that the whole idea is to make a change of variable. So I'll go ahead and say, let u equal to ln of x. Its derivative du dx will therefore be equal to 1 over x. And rearranging this result, we quickly see that du equals to 1 over x dx. Now, using these results, we can rewrite our integral in terms of the new variable u. And here's what I mean. Using the fact that u is equal to ln of x, we can replace ln of x here by u. And using the fact that du equals to 1 over x dx, we can replace this inside our integral by du. This quickly turns into the integral of u du. Here we can see quite clearly that we've successfully changed the variable from x to u. All we have to do now is integrate with respect to u, and in doing so we find that's equal to u squared over 2 plus some constant of integration c. Finally, replacing u by ln of x, we can state that the antiderivative, or primitive, capital F of x is equal to ln of x inside a pair of parentheses squared over 2 plus some constant of integration c. And I'll go ahead and box that. There we go. Okay, now that we have the antiderivative, we can go back to the definite integral and the result that I wrote here and calculate. Indeed, we can state that the definite integral from 1 to e of ln of x over x is equal to capital F of e minus capital F of 1, and that's equal to ln of e, all of which is squared, over 2, minus ln of 1. Again, that's squared and over 2. Notice here that I've completely ignored the constant of integration, and the reason for that is because it would cancel out with this subtraction. Indeed, I'd have a c here minus another c there, so that would just cancel itself out. Now, ln of e is equal to 1, so this becomes 1 squared, which is just 1 over 2, minus ln of 1, which, remember, is 0. So that becomes 0 squared, which is 0 over 2. Finally, we can state that the definite integral from 1 to e of ln of x over x is equal to 1 over 2. And that's the answer.